Alright, final day before reset. Let's see if we can push from rank 7 to rank 1. Using a different deck than last time, so we'll see how that goes. The idea behind this deck is... Saving up a, hopefully one or two hero cards and using them for these high damage creatures. That can all be played at different stages of the game or can play, be played solo, potentially buffed by the Kraken. Um, but the Kraken's also there to either be a second champion that plays thorns on himself or, sorry, it's the second creature, or um, to buff someone else or to even erase a lot of the attack spikes, the magic spikes that the te other team might have, or a combination of all of the above. Love of thorns here, yeah, perfect. Yes, this, this, um, he might be a bit new to the game because the shaman should have been played to a bit earlier. Should use the tax bike there. There we go. Yeah, a bit of a, a newer player, learning. The hybrid attack might be better here, might actually clean him up. Thorns does work on the hybrid attack, so... Oh, okay, it works on the magic portion as well. That's not what we wanted, um, I'm going to have to play a card now. Ah, uh, that's annoying because... Can't risk him. He's going to kill my Naga because he's so. Um. Oh, he hasn't got a very good creature left. Okay, we're all good. So what I should have done instead is just kept my the crag there with the thorns on him, so I could keep these creatures in my hand and not have him. One shot. The Naga. Because now it's 1v1 and he's got thorns and. Um, makes things a little bit closer. So I can't actually kill him here. I should have played defensive. Played this first to mitigate that thorn damage. That was a mistake by me. Um, play this and this and would love to play freeze, but I think we're safe here. I don't think he's got enough cleanses and erases to do anything here. Yeah, we're fine here. Oh, <laughs> he's got the phrase, okay. It's worth playing counter attack here because I'll still be frozen, I'm pretty sure. The last three turns, maybe I won't be frozen. I think he froze me and then this, this last turn. Right. So this game is a lot closer than it needed to be. The I shouldn't have killed myself the crag when I played the crag and finished his last creature off, I shouldn't have um, 
put myself in a position where I had to play the Naga. I think we're good here. Another very close game. Wise Monkey, very well played. So we're one and one in, on the day against each other. We we'll have to have a big turn next next round. So he doesn't have any bravery on himself. Question is, can I get through the shaman? Probably not. The erase is not bad here, so I should be able to get through him. The question is, do I use a raise now or do I use this full team attack? Part of me wants to save a raise for later because it can come in handy. I mean, I could have erased the auto revive here. Trigger three attacks, perfect. The one we wanted. Not too worried about the break defense. I'm, I'm assuming every creature I play from now is going to die within run round, unless I have something big to do about it. We've gotten rid of the radiant armor at least. Now her shield that she plays is really annoying. Try to leave her till last, so we'll play the Naga next. And that's not gonna one shot him unless I crit. And we want to dead this. Could get rid of the imp here, which we might have to defense. Trigger three attacks. bit of a waste because now let's just see how this goes hope this one shots him Save the freeze till later, or well, we couldn't use it then anyway, but 
We're not in a bad spot here, so my Naga is going to die. And then I'm hoping for a... Round where... Yeah. Charger might be able to take this out. Team free is perfect. He shouldn't have used it then. He definitely should have saved that because he's going to clean up my Naga anyway. The thing is here, I do want to put a debuff here, or at least because I'm, I can't win without it. And then I would I should have played this first. Or I did that attack just then. We get three attacks. Would actually kill Shaman Lady here. Or this uh whatever her name is. The glade. Two attacks left, so I'm gonna do that and then I might play Thorns instead. Um because do that. And I may have it may have been a better option to play freeze there. Should have froze the golem. I mean, he would have killed himself on me anyway with thorns. The reason I should have frozen the golem there is because just to get rid of any chance that he could sacrifice the golem with drag attacks and still finish me off in this one turn. But he has no cards. I mean, I could have picked up that he basically has no cards, so he's not really going to be able to do anything here anyway. He's definitely got no arrays, um, no cleanse. Very, the annoying thing here is if he would have had a freeze on me. Not sure if either of these champions are generating freeze though. In turn, so we'll pop this. A very close game, probably closer than I'd like, but. You could see how far behind we were, three creatures to five, and we still pulled off the win, so that's kind of how this deck works. Yeah, we're getting there. We're not in this case. So he's not really getting a lot of damage off with these pops of the mimic, with this extra energy, but he, he does get to use a lot of um like cards and he's look at look how close he is to always already getting a hero card. Um I wanna get rid of this area thorns. It doesn't really work in my deck, it just ends up sitting there. And it generates a lot towards the hero card. So let's see if we can win against someone that gets three pops. Three three pops of the mimic with no paralysis on him, so 150 extra energy. If 
I really wanted to, I could play the Naga next round and try to get a paralysis, but he's better utilized later in the game. Shield, so I'm just going to ignore the Mimic for now. Hopefully, you know, maybe later in the game I will play the Naga. We want all this down first. Same attack. Credit. He may have magic attack card that he can use with the Hippocamp. I will see. That's not a bad use of the shield for him. I would have just kept attacking with the Mimic. No point sacrificing anyone else. Yeah, if I was him, I would definitely would have just kept attacking here. I think that was a mistake by him. So he's got Bravery there, which I means I'm going to have to do this, but I'm happy with. Deal for me. Well, so I'm probably dead this turn, but hopefully I can take more than just the shield away. I oh, see so the poison pop shield, so perfect. So I doubt he has any magic cards here, and he's going to have to damage himself to finish off the tree. Okay, so we'll play the Kraken. Hasn't given us much choice here, but if we have thorns. the defensive boost or maybe we do not going to be using it later and this is working well so even though he's got 150 free energy from the mimic uh, quite a lot of value out of it but he still not necessarily ahead. Not really worried about trample here. I'm just, I'm just spamming thorns anyway. The good news is I should have two hero cards ready for. These follow-up creatures. Uh, that kind of finishes to my deck. If I could get triple attack would be perfect. We get three times attacks. How did you get 110? Oh, you probably had a Hero card maybe gives that attack spike. Not gonna help him if I have thorns on him. On uh, myself. Cool. Yeah, it's only. We should attack with the troll again here, just to finish me off. Yeah, good work. I think uh, for him, if he's going to use the mimic, 
the way he did where you know he got three two revives on him so three three pops of his passive but he doesn't have much later that can really even use that energy other than the um maybe the phoenix and the um the charger maybe we just play everything here because we've got full team attack and then triple team attack I should have played attack spike, but I can do it next. Drag attack anyway. Alright. There you go. I think his deck would have worked a little bit better with some magic damage. Just different creatures to utilize that extra energy better. That well played by him. Um, like a really good use of the mimic. I just needed better creatures to back it up, I think. I think we're on 390 MMR. So if we win this game, we should be rank 1. However, we're against Galagang and he's... He's one of the top players, but he's not so high ranked at the moment, which means we, we don't get a lot versus him. Um, but we lose a lot if we lose to him. Void armor, flame armor. I'm just gonna do this. <sighs> Try ride out with both of those as much as we can. I always put paralysis on me anyway, so. Not sure why you used a raise there, it's a bit of a waste. Should have probably saved it in my opinion. Uh thorns here. what that was, if that was a hybrid attack maybe. Perfect. His flame armor is doing work here at the moment. I don't mind the, the Void Armor and the Flame Armor on him. They're both good. Put on good debuffs, but they also work with his passive. If you if you attack something with negative status, you get 20 attack spike per negative status. Um, it's definitely a win for him if he could trade one for one here. It's a bit of an awkward situation where you're gonna have to. I'm gonna put shield on myself, and I know it's only blocking burn, but what I want to avoid is me having to place a fresh creature. So right now he places his second creature, yes he'll kill mine and we'll both be down to four but I'll have the next move so I'll kind of always potentially be one creature ahead. He does have the tree man here but I don't, doesn't seem to be playing a lot of thorns. Um. 
I'll have 80 Five. Uh, I might do this. Save the Kraken. Two attacks or one more with a crit. I think we do two attacks. Might even just put defense, the defense boost on instead. See if he keeps the just the tree man solo and and just uses thorns. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy to trade this crag runner for the tree. I, I can also raise. If you didn't know, I raise. It will always raise the first buff on them, so this left one. See for him, he just erased the left one, so adrenaline. Not sure why he did, I think it's a bit of a waste. The erasers are so valuable, you want to use them for either thorns or, you know, something that is really blocking you from doing what you want to do. Okay, this is perfect, so... We get rid of thorns. And that's the best card we could have drawn. Three attacks. We'll save our pinpoint and attack spike. Hybrid attack also very good. Alright, perfect. We won't do anything else. And we're very far ahead now. Especially if he doesn't even manage to kill my Craig Runner, Craig Runner in this round. Thorns. Not too worried about that. Not going to kill myself here. I won't use Siphon just yet. Do is. If possible, I would like to kill him and have zero energy. See if we can make this work. We do. This. This. So we will kill him. 25, we need to use another 20. 10. That's not gonna work. That'll work. Okay. So we wanted to, we're always gonna kill ourselves. And I wanted to avoid having to play another creature after I killed him. And the only way to do that was to end up on zero energy, otherwise the game would force you to, you can't end a turn with no creature. Unless of course you can't play a creature due to having zero energy. So he's just had to play creature and wasn't able to uh, do anything except generate cards. we still got thorns on him which is a bit annoying. I mean the game's probably done here but I've lost games thinking that they're done and not played optimally and ended up losing. There's plenty of ways towards the end of the game if you're behind to to make a comeback whether it's Thorns or Frost Armor or Freeze. And at this stage of the um, the reset, the ladderboard reset, we're not 
really interested in losing 30 40 MMR due to a silly mistake in a game that we should have won. Uh, unlucky for him. 3 HP. Probably just play our charger next. Do the triple attack. We would have one shot him anyway. There you go, I think that should put us to rank one. Yep. There we go, rank one. This was the deck we used last time. Last reset to finish rank one. Now we've used this one. And we should finish rank one. Unless anything changes in the next hour or two. And I think the next reset, I want to use the Shaman. We'll try something completely different. Alright, if you enjoyed that guys, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.